folks, boys and girls, dogs and cats. It's another day. We're here in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. And I just washed my face. That's why it might be a little red, so don't freak out. I just used soap and washed my face inside there. Nice little truck stop here. Feels good to be clean. So we're on our way to Hardesty, Alberta with our load of steel that we picked up in Ontario. We've been driving three days with it. Today is the last day. It's still a full day of driving, about 1,100 kilometers. That's you know, 11 to 13 hours to get there. We should be there tonight. And uh, apparently there's another driver of ours coming to deliver my freight onto the site for me. Because I was in the US last week, they're not gonna allow me on their site. So another driver's coming with another load for them. He's gonna deliver his stuff and then come out, grab my trailer, deliver my stuff so that I don't even have to go on the site. Which means I don't even have to shave my beard. Mm, dodged a bullet. Let's get on the road. Let's follow Mr. Grain Hauler out of here. It is time to go. Come on, pick a gear truck. I hope you guys are all doing well today. So after we... Turn right again. Turn left in 15 meters. All right, after we deliver this in uh, Hardesty, Alberta, I gotta go to Edmonton, Alberta to pick up my next load. I believe that's taking me back home. So we're at the border with Saskatchewan. We're still on the Manitoba side. Yeah, just pulling into the rest area here. I'm gonna wash my hands and check my load and stuff. Go to the bathroom. And I already got an alert on my phone. Man, they got a lot of snow here. Thanks. I got an alert on my phone uh, almost like an Amber Alert, except this was the state of emergency alert. My phone went crazy, started beeping, and then uh, it started talking to me, saying that Saskatchewan's under a state of emergency, blah, 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 explaining the situation. And so there's no excuse for anyone entering Saskatchewan and not knowing what's going on. So that's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. All right. Here we are. Just let the log books know that I'm going to do a load check check my load, I'm gonna go check my tires. They always wanna know everything that I'm doing. They're very nosy people, government. They always wanna know everything that's going on. Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, I see you stopped. Why'd you stop? Tell me, what are you doing? I wanna know what you're doing. Are you sleeping? Are you working? Are you just taking a break? Are you walking the dog? Are you going to the bathroom? Did you wash your hands? I wouldn't doubt it if this continues on. They're saying, what, 18 months to two years now. I don't know how we're going to survive that, but uh, if it goes on for that long, they're probably going to put a little note in the e-log, just like when I tell them that I'm checking my load. I'm going to have to log it when I wash my hands to prove that I have a record of washing my hands every so and so often. I uh, wouldn't put it past them. They're very nosy. So yeah, this is the rest area here. I'm the only one here. They got a lot of snowfall here the last couple of days, but skies are blue and sunny today. We still have 900, and 900 kilometers to go. It's like 560 some miles. It's going to be a long day yet. We've got to get all the way across Saskatchewan and into Alberta. It's eerily quiet here right now. The world hasn't ended, has it? I just had to come back here and actually chip the ice off of these lights very carefully without damaging the light. Just a thick layer of ice stuck to this truck. This here, eh? Probably got a boy in there. Probably got a few thousand pounds of ice added to this load. Try to keep you guys out of the wind. Got these chains back here. I got them covered in ice. <laughs> trying to stay close to the load so that we stay out of uh, out of the wind. Otherwise, all you hear is wind noise. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We got a lot of ice added on here. Uh, this in here, just a mess. Just a mess. Oh, I should make sure that these flags. Look at these flags. Covered in ice. 
get off my flag. There you go. Balgoni baloney. Balgoni Saskatchewan. There's nobody here. Wow. Where is everybody? This is like a ghost town. Usually there's some people here. Yikes. I gotta grab some fuel. I am almost on the red line. I'm burning a lot of fuel pulling this heavy steel across the country. This is crazy. Okay, I want to get a bit of a lighter load. Oh wow, almost all these pumps are closed. Half of them are shut down. Okay, well this one's open. Another on up with some go-go juice. See how much she'll take. She's still going. At least the fuel is nice and cheap now, eh? Oh, there we go. So that fuel fill up was $140 cheaper than before these fuel prices dropped like a rock. So I actually saved 140 bucks just in yesterday's driving. It makes hauling a heavy load not as painful to the wallet. It's kind of nice. So no real sightseeing here. Just grabbing fuel and going. I'm not even grabbing a coffee. So gasoline is 74 cents a liter. Diesel is a dollar a liter. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm gonna level with you. I feel like I just won the lottery. Some might say I did. Wanna know what I found? Real Purell hand sanitizer. The last one on the shelf. It was a, a limit of two. I wish I could have taken two, but uh, this is the last one left. Here at the uh, the Flying J in Davidson, Saskatchewan, of all places. Well, a tiny little truck stop here. Nothing fancy. Hand sanitizer. I have been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Oh, it's so nice. I'm happy, 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 happy. Fantastic. That made my day. It's going to be a good I told you it was going to be a good day. Told you it was going to be a good day. Man, that stuff is like gold. So excited. <laughs> this is the world we live in now.